Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena, episode 80, for Wednesday, January 13th, 2016. Facebook wrappers. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. I hit a point a few weeks back where I realized that I'd had enough of the official Facebook app for Android. Its history hasn't been that great. It's known to be processor intensive, a memory hog, quite large in file size. Often for many users, it's filled with features they, they simply don't use. And it's missing a big feature that many people want inside their Facebook app. Messenger was broken out of the official app back in 2014, and users have lamented its removal ever since. If you want that feature, you must install Facebook's standalone Messenger app to take part. Now, I'm not one to cast judgment, to be honest. I actually use the Messenger app for messaging friends and coworkers. Don't mind it out on its own personally, but I understand the sentiment. So, what exactly is this episode about then? Well, it's merely to remind you that you have alternatives. None of them are perfect, but then neither is the official app. Today's apps all take the mobile version of Facebook and build a new interface around that. Heck, the mobile version is what I've been using since I cast the official app to the curb. And not only that, the official app requires a metric ton of permissions to run. If you want to be discriminating in how much access Facebook has on your mobile device, going with a wrapper might set your mind at ease a little bit. So then the choice is yours to find the app that carries with it the right mix of usability, functionality, and performance for your own taste. Today, we're foregoing the usual big app at the end of the episode, and instead, I'm showing off a supersized selection of some of your choices for Facebook wrappers in this week's Roundup. First up is Fast for Facebook. This actually here is Fast Pro, the ad-free version of Fast. Big surprise, Fast for Facebook is all about being a quick and light version of the site with some nice customization features. For example, the settings reveal a number of customizations for different theme colors and font choices throughout. And beyond that, this user interface pane actually shows three different formatting options for posts within your Facebook feed. That helps the app kind of look a little different from Facebook's official offering. Answering to the app's promise for speeding things up, you have some extra settings you can tweak to do things like decrease the load time, as well as choose how many stories are going to load up when you first start the app. The less you load automatically, the quicker you're going to get to your Facebook content. There's also a side slide-out pane with a majority of Facebook's key features there, and there's even a side slide-out pane on the right side with access to your lists, your groups, pages, and events. You can see that Fast even attempts to rope a little material design into the mix with its use of a floating action button at the bottom with different actions depending on your active screen. Finally, don't forget to look for this Facebook updater inside your notification tray. That is, of course, totally optional. You can turn it off if you like. Fast is free in the Play Store with a $1.30 premium upgrade to remove the ads. Next up is Folio. This is a wrapper that packs some impressive customization and theming options if you're willing to pay a little bit for it. For free, you actually get everything the Facebook mobile site offers inside of Folio's experience. The side slide out tray gives direct access to pretty much all areas of Facebook, including sorting your news feed by either most recent or top news posts, which is nice to be able to do that with the tap of a button. Uh, there's also what's trending, your favorite pages, groups, and reminders of the events that you're following. You can also jump right to your historical view of Facebook by tapping on this day. Bugs me a little that Folio's action bar at the top kind of mimics Facebook's own action bar, so there's a little bit of duplication when they're both showing. This is not isolated to only Folio, however. You're gonna see this in some of the other apps today. But in the settings, you can opt to hide Folio's nav bar, and that helps at least a little bit. 
Folio does include notification settings, and this isn't a feature you'll find inside all Facebook wrappers, so it's nice to get that here. And like I said, if you pay the $4.29 upgrade for the add-on, you get access to 41 total themes to change things up. Folio can be found in the Play Store for free to get started. Next on the Facebook wrapper tip is an app that's aptly named considering it's targeted at users who, quote, require a tinfoil hat when locking into Facebook. It's called Tinfoil. And well, there really isn't a whole lot to it. What you get is the mobile site. Tinfoil is basically a sandbox browser environment for the Facebook site with little else added. There is a minor slide out tray on the right side with some quick navigation buttons, but that's really about it. If all you want is the Facebook mobile web on your device, then this is a pretty great choice. Even better than using the mobile site via Chrome, as Tinfoil actually removes the URL bar up top, making everything seem like it's a standalone app. As for permissions, all that it requires are internet permissions for obvious reasons, and only course location is used unless you enable allow check-ins specifically inside of the app's preferences. So tinfoil hat enthusiasts, this might be just what the privacy doctor ordered for you. Tinfoil for Facebook is free in the Play Store. Up next is a Facebook wrapper done with a different browser than the standard Chrome browser running in the background. This is Puffin for Facebook. And for those who have never heard of the Puffin browser before, you might want to check out episode 245 of All About Android from last month. You can hear Aaron Newcomb's take on that browser. Basically, it's designed to be, quote, wicked fast by using its own compression algorithm to do things like save bandwidth and speed things up. Well... Puffin for Facebook is a Facebook wrapper using the Puffin browser underneath. In fact, if you pull down on the feed to refresh it, you'll see a little informational block at the top telling you just how much data you've used and saved this month by using the app. When you scroll down, you do get this arrow on the side, on the right side, that'll take you directly to the bottom or the top in an instant when you tap it. And when you view on an image, you can actually shake the phone and it'll turn that lower res version of the image into its highest quality. That's there to save you even more data. Otherwise, it's pretty much the Facebook mobile site with no extra bells and whistles and a removed URL bar up top. If you like to save data up to 90% in some cases while using Facebook, then check out Puffin for Facebook for free in the Play Store. Now, finally, there's probably one of the more recent Facebook wrappers to make the rounds right here. It's called Metal for Facebook and Twitter. And right away, you know at least one feature that differentiates Metal from the rest with built-in functionality for Twitter's mobile site inside the app. That's a nice bonus. But let's focus on Facebook here. First and foremost, Metal is a wrapper that doesn't clutter or tries not to duplicate efforts in the top bar versus the action buttons imported through Facebook's mobile site. It looks good and intentional when glancing at the newsfeed. Slide out the side tray and you're going to reveal some shortcuts to the places that you expect. Newsfeed, friends, groups, pages, all that stuff. But let's get to the really cool stuff. And they reside inside Metal's preferences. First, notification support with a frequency setting so you don't burn through your data or battery. You can dial that in however you like. There's some themes, of course, yes, they're added here for the nav and action bar. You can also enable a full screen mode. And then if you do that, go ahead and enable Facebook's toolbar up top in fixed mode so that that never goes away. It's a nice way to set it all up. Here is the floating metal bar. This resides in your notification tray and you can tap it to have metal appear in a floating window over the top of your Android screen, whatever you happen to be doing. Back into the settings here, though, uh, we can do things like block images to save data like a pro. You can set up a proxy for network requests if you want to anonymize your Facebook traffic. And finally, Metal taps into Google Now. So in Google Now, I can say, OK, Google, search for Leo Laporte on Metal. And the app does the rest. Metal is about as feature rich as a Facebook wrapper app comes. And the best part is it's completely free with absolutely no in-app ads. Find Metal for Facebook and Twitter right now in the Play Store. All right, so a few of these apps don't have access to something that many people do want inside a Facebook app, and that's notifications. Another option you have if this is important to you 
visiting Facebook inside your Chrome browser on your device, and then just sending that URL to your desktop with the option that's called Add to Home Screen. That can be found inside the Chrome's menu. That creates a tappable shortcut to the site, which you can place on your home screen. And with Chrome's notification support, which you opt into, that also means that you can set up to receive notifications in the same way that you're used to doing through the official app. See folks, you have options. I'm not saying they're all perfect, but at least they exist. I hope this helps you and the performance of your device reach maximum levels of Facebook awesomeness. Uh, please send me your favorite apps and categories. I love getting your emails and I have a ton that are helping me kind of choose future episodes. That's arena at twit.tv. You can always post those to the subreddit at androidapparena.reddit.com. Share them with me and the rest of the world there. The show plays live every Wednesday around 5 p.m. Pacific following Tech News Today at twit.tv slash live. And a new episode will appear later that evening in the feeds and on the show page at twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell, and I'll see you next week in the arena.